Hi, today we are going to teach our dog to limp on cue, a challenging and adorable trick sure to be a crowd pleaser. Limping on cue is one of the most difficult moves for a dog to learn, so don't be surprised if it takes you anywhere from three to over six months to teach. While the technique itself is not complicated, it is a very difficult and taxing exercise for your dog to master, so be patient and quit before your dog gets tired or bored. A few minutes of practice every day will really add up. You're going to need a clicker or any other marker and some treats. Let's begin. Start by teaching your dog to give paw. Most dogs will readily learn this as it is a natural attention-seeking behavior. Just tap her paw or lift it gently. Click and treat. After a couple of repetitions, you may start to ask for her paw without touching it. Click and treat when she lifts it. You may teach her to give the other paw as well, but for the purpose of teaching the limp on cue, I will only be asking for one paw. Now we're going to ask the dog to hold her paw up for longer by supporting it and not letting her put it back down, gradually taking away the support until she's holding it up all on her own. It may take a few sessions for your dog to understand what it is you're asking. And at this point, you can add a vocal cue. I use the word hold. Gradually increase the time until she can hold her paw up for 5 to 10 seconds. Now we're going to teach her to hold her paw up as before, but from a standing position. I start from the sit because it's best to consolidate a cue in the easiest conditions and balancing on one forepaw is easier in a sit than it is in a stand. I also don't have to worry about the dog moving around as much. Work up to a 5 to 10 second hold from a stand. Everything is now repeated, but while the dog is taking a step. Ask for a small step by luring her forward with a treat or calling her name. It's okay if she only hops forward with her front paw at this point. Gradually support her less and less until she's limping forward on her own. At this point, you can introduce a hand gesture, as your hand is no longer there to help her. Slowly increase the number of steps required while adding a verbal cue, for example, the word limp. Patience is key. Good luck and happy training.